Tattooing is an art form that's been around for centuries and carries multiple negative stereotypes. But what if tattooing was a good thing? My name is Lee Robinson. I'm an independent filmmaker and tattoo artist. And this is Under the Needle. Veterans and tattoos go hand in hand. Um, have since probably pre-World War II. Um, veterans get tattooed to tell a story. To um, tell about things that happen in their lives. Tattoos about things they love, like their family and friends. Things that define them. Operation Tattooing Freedom is an organization created to help veterans learn to cope with the effects of PTSD through tattooing. The founder of Operation Tattooing Freedom, Lewis Hunt, got the idea for the organization after getting tattooed by a fellow vet. We talked for two or three hours while I was getting the work done. And when I got up, I felt so much better. Because a lot of vets don't want to go see counselors. They don't want to go see psychiatrists. They don't want to go see psychologists. But sit down and talk to another vet, that's an easy conversation. Today, we're going to visit Rocky Esparza at Black Cloud Tattoo and Operation Tattooing Freedom for an official OTF session. My name is Rocky Esparza. I've been tattooing for uh, going on six years. Um, started uh, more part-time and just recently started a full-time, I'll say about a year going on. I got started through my, uh, my older brother. Uh, my older brother was a tattoo artist back in Wisconsin. And uh, he basically kind of kept pushing me to tattoo and I didn't want to, you know, because I was scared of mess people up. <laughs> and he uh, basically told me, you know, hey, you're gonna start tattooing. And I paid no attention, so I was deployed uh, overseas and I got a box of equipment and I found out it was through him. And of course, like I said before, you know, I was tattooing uh, couple Marines and then from there every jarhead wants to get tattooed out there overseas <laughs> so I got my practice and uh, that's kind of how I learned just kind of self-taught myself. I served a total of nine years from 2000 to 2009. Um, I found that a lot of times uh, the way it helps them it kind of helps them tell their story without having to actually tell it to anybody or talk about it. Um, I do a lot of customized designs for for them. You know, we'll sit down, we'll talk, and it's easy to build that report with them just because we're veterans and I'm, I can relate, they can relate, all that good stuff. So they're able to tell me exactly what is going on with them, you know, and what what would they what they experience. And from there, we can we come up with their 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 story in a form of drawing, and um, based on that, we create it into a tattoo. My name is Corey Collins, and uh, I came here for uh, Operation Tattoo and Freedom. I was in the U.S. Army uh, almost 10 years, uh, from 1997 to 2007. While in country, I uh, received two Purple Hearts. Uh, first one, uh, just a flesh one, so to speak, and uh, and then uh, a couple weeks later, we, I was involved in a. Uh, uh, IED attack, I guess, um, driving down the road, and uh, my vehicle I was in was hit by an IED that uh, killed all three guys that were in the truck with me, and um, broke 30 bones in my body, uh, ultimately causing me to lose my left leg above the knee, and uh, 39 surgeries later, uh, multiple stays in the hospital, uh, and here I am. You know, I don't go to the VA for therapy or or a shrink or anything like that. I, I tried that, it doesn't work. Anytime that I can sit down with a fellow vet and um, talk about the things that we've been through and share some of the same stories and times that we've shared, and even if we weren't together at the time um, or didn't know each other at the time, um, um, we're one percent of the population. Um, we have shared those times and we have shared those same experiences. So. Anytime I can experience that, whether it's getting a tattoo or going to get a burger or a beer or whatever, that's that's who I'd 
I'd rather spend my time with is somebody like that. So I've uh, learned that it's helped a, a lot of veterans be able to uh, see their drawing, see their tattoo, and be able to say that, you know, it's there. I don't have to talk to no one about it. I could just show it off. It's kind of step one for, uh, for the complete tattoo. But yeah, this is the two purple hearts that I got um, while serving in Iraq. Being myself on the other side as well, I've, I've had my own story too where I've had it tattooed. And it's a lot of customized designs too. So it kind of just brings it alive. And uh, whenever I look at it, you know, it just kind of gives me that little peace of mind, you know, that, you know, I did my part and, you know, I'm still there with them some way or another. It's helped a lot of people, man, honestly. It's, it continues to help a lot of people. Um, kind of like um, veterans that look at other ways to cope with PTSD, whether it's music, um, drawing, whatever it is, tattooing is one of them. Tattooing and art, just art in general is my, it's my therapy. And um, I know if it helps me, it helps others too. Um, I've been tattooed myself many times, so I know that it takes me elsewhere. So if it helps me, I know it's helping others. And uh, you know, I've tattooed other veterans too who say the same thing. So everything that we do, um, you know, it's a good thing, you know, it takes our mind off stuff. <laughs>